Kate Middleton owns the internet. We haven't been this united as a country since Tiger King. She is the person who has brought us together, ironically a Brit, bringing Americans together. And um, everyone would like to know what's wrong with her. So Dan Wooten, who has broken pretty much every piece of big, huge royal news over the past 10 years, was on the program yesterday saying Kate is, quote, very unwell, that she is alive because some of the conspiracy theorists on the internet are wondering whether she's even still with us. God, you know, it's a joke. I mean, it's not a joke by me, whatever, but they think that. She's very unwell, but he does say she's expected to get better. But many, many people think that this is either from its get-go or has morphed into or is in some way related to marital strife between Kate Middleton and her husband, um, Prince William, that he allegedly cheated on her, okay, hold on, with somebody named Sarah Rose Hanbury. Dan Wooten broke that story too <laughs> back in, I think, 2019, that he you know, had an affair partner and she stayed with him, Kate Middleton, and it's not that unusual for these princes or kings, whatever, to have someone on the side. And that somehow this is all related to what we're seeing. Now, this leads to things like the following from TikTok and someone who calls themselves pop apologists. Take a look at this theory. Where is Kate Middleton? Part 16. This will be the most shocking video of the entire series, and I pray this is not true. I got a message yesterday about Rose Hanbury that seemed so preposterous, that seemed so out there, I ignored it. Word around London and what a lot of people believe is going on, and I'm just gonna say it, it's so crazy, but apparently the affair with Rose Hanbury, it never stopped. And Rose Hanbury right now is pregnant with William's baby and she's keeping it. <laughs> and the ambulances that were seen leaving Sandringham right after Christmas were taking Kate who's having a complete mental breakdown. Kate is allegedly completely done. She's no longer cooperating with Kensington Palace, which is why we can only get these fake photos of her. Okay. <laughs> also, they found the body at Area 47 out in Nevada. <laughs> and, look, this is, people have lost their minds. But uh, there is something going on, and it does appear that Kate Middleton seems pissed off because the latest paparazzi shot of her, she intentionally looked the other way. She didn't make eye contact with the camera. We don't know exactly what's happening. What do you guys think is going on with Kate Middleton? Well, let me start with it. I was under the impression that we fought a war so I wouldn't have to care about these people. Amen. Uh, <laughs> but, Amen. but frankly, Megan, you had me at royal side piece. Uh, so, <laughs> so now, now I'm willing to entertain all of this. Uh, you know, it, it, like they were told in January that she was having some abdominal surgery and that she would basically not be in public until Easter. Well, I mean, it's not Easter yet, right? So I guess the photo that came out was like kind of photoshopped or whatever. And I don't know if that means that like kinda. literally she wasn't in the photo. I don't know what that means. I haven't done enough homework on that. But like, I don't know. I just have a hard time getting all worked up about it. I, just, I don't have, I have no idea. Apparently, this is a big deal to a lot of people, though. Yeah, so I don't use Chinese spyware apps, so <laughs> I'm not on TikTok, but I enjoyed <laughs> really the, like, 30 seconds of brain damage that, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. this, actually, it's entertaining. I think that's the problem here, is, like, that's right. yes, it's insanity, but sometimes insanity can be fun. <laughs> so now I'm willing to entertain all the crazy shit. I think... <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Maybe she is dead. Maybe this is a cover up. Maybe the mistress killed her and dresses up like her in the like fake shots that the royal family is setting up. I mean, we know they're not trustworthy people and they all hate each other. And so she's, anything's they do lie. Oh, she's cloistered away with Princess Di somewhere. Yeah, could be. I mean, like, <laughs> the, the, the thing I, I really come to the conclusion is if this was some kind of a serious medical condition that, you know, Kate had, whether it was cancer or something like that. You know, the royal family would be farming sympathy as much as possible. They've been in a years long PR war with a like redheaded son and his <laughs> wife. So, like, they would try to get people on their side by any means necessary. But the fact that they're not means they must be doing something sketchy. What do you think, Don? That's what's that's scary. I mean, we have a mental 
mental health crisis in this country. <laughs> <laughs> we really do. I mean, I knew that video was going to be a banger in the, first, <laughs> in the first four seconds when she said, this is part 16. <laughs> Buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I feel like I need some the ketamine. Scary music. <laughs> My God. You got to yeah. give her points on the production value, right? With the, the music. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sucks the, you right in. The photos. Yeah. I'll tell you. So I, I don't feel bad talking about this even a little because mm. literally she might be the most famous woman in the world. I mean, I can't think of somebody who's more famous than Kate Middleton. And how did she get so famous? She married Prince William. Was that an accident? Hell no. She yeah. did, They were calling her the weighty Katie and all that, which she didn't like, which I understand. But I mean, she wanted to marry him. And I'm sure it wasn't just because of his lovely hair. So <laughs> they did get married and she became one of the most famous, richest, whatever, all this stuff. And this is the downside of it. There's interest in you. There's way more upside than there is downside to having people this interested in you. And unfortunately, that means if you have a major health crisis, people are going to want to know about it. And that was true for the queen. And it's really true for a 42-year-old future queen who shouldn't be having one month stays in the hospital and then three month reclusive periods thereafter to the point where she has to release, which she did, by the way, she got us paying attention to her by releasing the photograph. She could have just said, I've gone underground. I'm still in my recovery. I'm not, but she released through the palace, this photo of her and the family, which was a fake. I don't know exactly what she did to it or how she did it, but you know, Dan, who I love was, you know, he's, he's got sources there, so he's gotta be careful, but he was like, oh, haven't we all photo, you know, edited a photo here or there. The, the sleeves on the child were different. The, the, the sweater on the boy was different. Like the, there were so many, the skirt was different. Like when we edit a photo, you put like a different lighting on it, or maybe you like retouch a blemish. You don't like change out everybody's outfit and superimpose you from the British Vogue cover or wherever. Like something massive happened in that thing. It was a fake and a fraud to the point where the agencies all pulled it. So I make no apologies for being interested in this because when people smell a lie, especially involving somebody that rich and powerful, they don't let go. Can yeah. we get can we get back to the royal side piece part of this? I, for a second? I mean, that, uh, there's what, more. I've never heard about this before. Is there's more? Oh, there's to, more. I, I missed the so, whole initial report. There's a, about. there's a whole theory that this woman did have an affair with Prince William, and mm -hmm. Kate found out about it, but stuck with him because she would never leave Prince William, and that this woman used to be. She's also a royal, so she's somehow somehow a royal, um, but she used to be. Very beautiful. <laughs> Forgive me. This is the rumor. Oh, and no. that now, oh, no. <laughs> that now, maybe less so after oh. all of the brain damage. This is a, unconfirmed, to be clear. This is a rumor um, that given Many all the think. strife she's gone through <laughs> with this royal family. I don't like, I don't know what's true. They all. You know, for years, the royals have been marrying internally and having affairs internally. It's like first cousin is not a deal breaker for the, anybody <laughs> in the royal family. Well, I mean, this is the thing. I don't think yeah. that the bald prince would, would cheat on his wife. The He's, bald he, one? Yeah. I mean, like his, his dad probably set a good example of like, oh, yeah. the importance <laughs> of marriage. And his mom, too. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Know. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Good point. <laughs> you know, well, here's, I, here's, my, uh, here's my view clip for you for the day. They don't think this is appropriate. The Whoopi Goldberg would like us all to just STFU. Watch. She took a picture. She said, listen, I photoshopped it she myself. Didn't take I it, did so it. She didn't take Whoever it. Whoever took Someone it. Someone took it of her. She, she, you know Sarah, what? Sarah, Sarah, can I say And they yes. photoshopped the photo. The palace also made a mistake here. And then they released I, two photoshop I'm gonna, photos. We're going to go to break. <laughs> too angry Wait, now. I have yes, one. because it just, it's, people do this to you. You know, you haven't had this done to you. No, it's this Sarah stuff, fault. it's, no, no, it's our fault. It's our fault because we bought into this. When you buy into this stuff, when they start doing it to your family or they start doing it to your kids, it's not cute. I, it's not I, fun I, and it really irritates yeah, you know, us. Why then didn't she just put the family together and get a photographer to take the picture? Because, because she's not she there. wanted to do I'm going to put this out because you're going to get hammered for this. It's true. I'm, yes, I'm just going to say it. This is all speculation and we're having fun, okay? Just know that we know that we don't know. Oh, my Lord. 
<laughs> well, it's it's nice to see that Whoopi is engaged in ethics and journalism. <laughs> I mean, that's the one right. thing. I think that's like extremely telling of leftists now, where they're like, "How dare you not lick the boots of our royalty?" <laughs> you know, like how did this happen? Where they're like. Okay, you're not allowed to criticize royals, but I hope journalists hunt down some grandma for a Facebook meme and try to ruin her life. <laughs> yeah. Like, sort through her mail. Fair game is not the royal family. Of course they're fair game. And she's like, well, how would you feel if your children hunted down? I doubt any journalist cares about some random kid on Photoshop. CNN will probably hunt him down if they disagree with it. But, like, that is an insane comparison to be like— that is very unfair and mean to be critical of the royal family. I, I, They've got I, I, it tough. That's a great point. I really, I really like, I really like that that Whoopi said we don't know, actually know what we're talking about. This is all just speculation. And I really wish she had that disclaimer on every single one of her segments. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nice to that's say. A good that. point. Yeah. Blanket disclaimer at the beginning of every show, like a crawl, a crawl going like, along. Being like, she was, she know. was one step away from accusing us of doxing Kate Middleton. It's like, yeah. no, <laughs> Kate is famous, Catherine, because she's literally the princess of Wales. She's the future <laughs> queen. That's why we're interested in her. It was a position she she sought and accepted. She puts herself out there on the balcony in the pictures along with her husband. They of course make the children public figures. They were they're born public figures and then they remain and get touted and flouted and all the rest of it. That's a choice. You don't have to do that, especially Kate. She could have remained a commoner like she was. This is like what it comes with the territory. I'm sorry. I know you want to keep whatever happened to you private. You kind of, that ship sailed when you joined this wacky family. And now people are interested in you for better or for worse. Financial experts thought we were in the clear. They were anticipating around six rate cuts by the Fed this year. And then the inflation data came out. Did you see the latest? Higher than expected. This is obviously not going away. How can it? The U.S. is $34 trillion in the hole. Oh. And yet we just keep on printing money, which pushes the prices you pay every day even higher. So you can either bury your head in the sand or you can do something about it. One option to consider is to diversify a portion of your savings into gold with Birch Gold Group. Gold can be your hedge against inflation, you see, and Birch Gold makes it easy to own. They will help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in gold, and you don't pay a penny out of pocket. Text Megan, M-E-G-Y-N, to 989898 and get your free info kit on gold. And then speak with a precious metal specialist about how you can choose to protect your savings from persistent inflation with gold. Text Megan to 989898 now. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.